right here. Of course, in my head, my voice might sound different, but it could be like... There can be only one! It can be like sounding very normal to you, at least. Where's Half-Life? There it is. Pose and pores. Half-Life Deathmatch, sure is. I wonder if anybody <laughs> actually plays this. Is if Half-Life Source already was, uh, how would I say, funky enough, Deathmatch Source can be something else. Because the, uh, the thing is, I, I did try this, and when you died, it was as if you actually played Half-Life 2 Deathmatch instead. Because you, you, you always died, it just kept the, the settings inside and everything. Yeah, my nose is actually pretty stopped up, so yeah. It's like what cold does to you. Like I do have, yeah, I do still do have the cold. Thankfully, the, uh, most of that horror is over. <laughs> there we go. Where's the song? 1080p, Jesus. I didn't modify this. No more. Maybe 1024 by 768. There we go. That's one less horror in the world. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, we were at Vicarious Reality. This is probably the auto save or something like that. I don't actually know. Oh, this is the, uh, the normal save, yeah, I guess. But in any case, we're gonna load the quick save. If it lets us. So, yeah, sometimes the uh, Steam version of the Gold Source engine can take a while to load some games. But here we are. I don't know if I should actually... Uh, well, I'm gonna put the... Uh, the sounds a little lower. I can. MP3 volume was fine enough. HEV, that doesn't matter much since we're not actually having an HEV. We do have some of the... Uh, Jesus! The sounds from the HEV suits, but only like the beeps and everything when we grab some armor or it takes some damage or even full damage, I guess. Hello. Wait a minute. Yeah, I was I was just I just realized I used the uh, the HD model site. Why have these been enabled? Did half of opposing force just get like the uh Nope. Oh. oh there we go. An update or something? No, it's fine, we got our uh, old models back. It was at 1080p. What the hell? I, I I actually haven't touched this after I played it. Opposing force on stream. Yeah, I don't know what I said. Didn't even reinstall any of the uh, oh, the Gold Force games on Steam. So I don't know what's happened. Oh, jumped right over me. Black Mesa Research Facility Biodome Complex. But blank. Sorry, Otis. Everybody's dead. It's all in a reflex. Yeah. Specimen observation area zero one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's this place. Observation area. Ooh, look at that. They're all dead. No. Oh. Oh, the how does are dead? Is that like a guard or something? <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. Oh, so Lo Wang was actually here. That's why. Oh, that's a scientist. I see. I can't break the glass. Damn it! And there's our shock alien. I don't know, alien shock. But we already have a, uh, a shock roach, so that's why uh, it actually dealt damage to us this time. But I did forget that we got our shock core actually, and now we gotta return for some reason, I guess. I don't know where we came from. Down here. Could we actually enter? I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's a Voltigor. Hello, is your refrigerator running? Better catch it. <laughs> Perfect timing. That is a Voltigor. That is another one of those weird aliens we've seen. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm gonna call those uh, aliens with the shock core or the uh, what the hell the shock roach. Oh come on! There we go. Probably the shockers. Oh look, you coming apart? Well, not quite yet. Now you are. That's a syringe. Hit crafts here. Oh, that's a Honda, actually. Could have just used the knife here, but uh, let's see. <laughs> what do what these buttons actually do? Of course. I think I can eat a bigger boat. Oh, right, out of desert, e desert eagle ammo. Oh, it's just closes those. I should have known. One bullet. Who wants some wang? Why are you spamming those again? What the hell? I know you want to test like uh, what sounds are away now, but. <laughs> I only deleted like five, four or five of them. Pretty much. I don't actually know why I shot those snarks, so like, let them go, but I don't know where they went. Here we go. Specimen containment room. Same goes with this. <laughs> What the hell was that? I've got my shotgun and I'm not afraid to use it. Shit. Oh, bloody hand right there. Bloody hell. Look what you've done to my bloody shit, man. No. Storage. Could you? Could you? Hey, crap, you piece of shit. Thank you. Oh, we get some radioactive ammo once again, and I believe we can uh, displace ourselves once more. Let's see. Oh, yes. <coughs> so every time it just gives us, like, 60 uh, radioactive ammo, we, we can displace us, like, on that location where it just did that. So uh, now we're... In a different area once more on Zen. Whee! Somebody's dead. Something dead down here. Kind of looks like he's wearing glasses. Yes, he is. So it was a scientist. He's got glasses inside his freaking HEV helmet. Oh, he's dead now. And now he's got no glasses and no right eye. And we're back. Yep, back here. That was a very cool section right there. Come on! There we go. We cannot climb this, so we... Yeah, there's just the ladder. Right up! Shit. That did not go as planned. Oh. <laughs> Dandy. We gotta displace ourselves one more, once more. Ouch. There we go. Piece of shit. Dead. Of course. Yes, not looking at you, kid. Oh, come on, Caleb. <laughs> what the hell do I even do here? Oh, yeah, down here, of course. Uh, whoop. Oof, that was close. Oh. Goodbye. Authorized personnel only. I wonder what that's actually for. Oh. 
Well, that's a different area. Yeah, those, uh, those are live Hondas. Yeah, that's a different observation area, and that is, that's a dead scientist right there. Right there. Authorized personnel only. I can take the elevator, or just go to the, uh, well, this area right here. We're gonna take the elevator a little later, I guess. I'm just gonna save there. Oh, it's a different section actually. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back. I want to see what's in here. This take me to the uh, same kind of level. I don't know. Maybe it takes me to the uh, the second observation room. And back at I move. It was exactly the same problem as in the retail version of Half-Life, so I guess it's the same problem here as well. You can hear that sound yourself. <laughs> surface tension, indeed. This is one hell of a surface tension. Oh, there we go. I crouched and that was it. Oh, I can... <laughs> you are weak as a baby fart. Go live in fear. <laughs> I can move this around. I didn't know that. Ah, oh, pit drones! Ah, oh, not rocket launcher! Jesus! Everybody dead. I like that. Me too, as long as everybody are dead. Is dead, rather. Oh, look at that. Hmm, don't have time to play with myself. At least the pro... One pro thing here, like me having a cold, is I sound more like Duke Nukem now. So I might like thanks to the. Uh... Come get some. <laughs> Come get some. I do sound like him. I don't know. It could be just in my head. Just like in my head, my voice naturally just sounds different than what I could sound on the stream. I might sound like a total jerk if I actually just watch this in post, make a bot out of it. Come get some. Yeah. This really pisses me off. Well, that makes it one of us, Duke. Or should I say, one of you, Duke? Looks like cleanup on aisle four. Yeah, it kinda does. Danger! Danger! Hmm. So, should I be. Is that water or what? Could be water, I don't know. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about, about that. I forgot to delete that. That's the uh, the holy shit command. Uh, the just just type holy shit. It's a random holy shit. I forgot about that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Indeed. I added that. It's a randomized holy shit command. It has uh, Leonard's holy shit blowings to basically holy shits. But it's the uh, the holy shit and then the holy pieces of shit. That's what it is. Well, that's actually from UT 2004, not from UT 3. But if UT 3 actually had a different holy shit, you could provide me that. I don't know if you already did, but I didn't check yet. Uh, one more. Deep and shot. That it didn't even kill you. Pathetic. Holy shit. Oh, come on. I mean, there's only a few of them. Maybe like six of them. Oh, it's in the pack. All right, let's see. There we go. <coughs> I might have heard another zombie. Just look at these. I don't know if these are meant to have a texture, but I just always thought that they were, uh, they're the only hair. Um, Zen has, pretty much. But I mean, look at the aliens. They actually, well, I don't know if this is, this is actually some fur right here, but the bull squids don't seem to have any, uh, any fur it may seem like so. Oh yeah, we're coming up to this. Oh yes. 
You see this? These are the spores, and we can get them as, well, basically ammo. Why did I do that? And, of course, I didn't even say. 40 pieces of shit! Yeah, indeed. <laughs> 40 pieces of cow! Right, there we go. Uh, drop down here. I don't know if uh, if I should use the uh, other weapons than the pistol. The pistol oh, is. Oh, smell! Remind me of old girlfriend. Yes, indeed. Like I said, Shadow, I modified the. Uh, well, yeah, I actually modified the random sound command of Lil Wang to make him more fitting for kills. I didn't kill anyone there. Oh, look, look at that. <laughs> so I didn't even have to shoot. I just, like, let him kill here. Doesn't mean the aliens don't smell. Well, that's true, but it's very, very fitting and lucky of you to get that. Well, I'm gonna said basically anything there from his quotes. Holy shit. Yeah. Indeed, holy shit, your luck. Your luck is some holy shit already. Wait, did I already visit this place? I don't know if I visited this place already. Yeeha! Thank you. Oh, but here are the, uh, how would I say? The grown spores, I, I, I don't actually know what these are, but... Alien guns, indeed. These are alien guns, pretty much. I think the... Uh, I don't know if this is from Zen or from the other, like, alien dimension, where the other aliens actually are, but this is the Spore Launcher. And we already got some ammunition for it, from down there, and, uh, the, uh, the Spore thingies that, uh, had the spores in them, uh, they could actually generate that indefinitely, but they have, like, a, uh, 30 second cooldown, I don't actually know. Yep, there we go. Jibbed. I feel like this is actually much better than the uh, the rocket launcher. Jesus, pile of meat. Indeed. Couldn't agree more. The primary fire is just your basic cool, uh, basic cool, what the hell, basic uh, impact shot. While the uh, secondary fire is a bouncy piece of shit. I loved to use that in the multiplayer, and I already told that um, I played this more than the. Original Half-Life in multiplayer more. Just because of the weapons, mainly. Alright. Hello? Oh yeah, also the sniper rifle, yeah. Sadly, I don't have that right now, but I do you have that. You can't evade me forever! I know, I know, Lowen. I'm actually gonna wait till I get. Oh, come on, shit. Ah! Oh, thank god. Till I get max uh, spore ammo here. And I think the max side ammo is like 15, so I just have to like cycle between each. I think it's 10 seconds cooldown. I don't really know. <coughs> but I seriously love to spam the <laughs> secondary fire pretty much in multiplayer. In corners and such, they would always just die. But the primary fire alone is very effective. I don't know if it makes any sense in opposing force, but you can. Can't you actually spore jump? No. No, it doesn't make you any higher. Put you any higher, I mean. <laughs> No, thank you. Pro tip, do not spore jump with this weapon. Holy shit! Yeah, indeed. Alright, one... Gotta get it up to ten, maybe, I don't know. I feel like I'll encounter more... ...ammo along the way. Here we go. Perkele! Perkele! But 
Physically. Damn, I had no R there. I just had a physically. Oh shit. Damn you dad and just one headshot. That was very, very good. Low, low one. Oh you little tiny dick. Pukele. What is Pukele? I don't know. <laughs> Observation area two. Oh, it's this weird glowy thingy again. I don't know. I never like caught like what this is really, but I, I, it's just going away from us. It's like we, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. And I went through the door, pretty much. Yeah. Before I go there, though, I don't know if I can break this or if it's already broken from these windows. No. <laughs> no, I cannot break it. Cannot break any of them. It's whatever I wanted to be. <clears throat> That's where I was just... I just was. I, I doubt it, because I, uh, I already was in one of these observation areas. Oh, yeah, that is actually, yeah, never mind, yeah. Never mind. I was just not looking at the windows. On the other side, pretty much. But when I was on the other side. Hello. City folk. <laughs> How dies a city folk? There we go. Data control operations. Authorized personnel only. Specimen testing lab. It's time to abort your whole oh, friggin' species. species. Oh wait, is it, is it this part? We can press a button for a, uh, what is it? A holographic message, pretty much. And those are barnacles, by the way, which we, I think, cannot shoot, no. Ah, yes, Walter. We were finally able to successfully detach one of the barnacle creatures from its point of gestation. Oh, yes. As before, we were still only able to coerce the creature into latching onto organic materials. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab this morning for an important experiment. So I don't have any time to further my analysis. Take specimen number 1176 and log anything else you can find. Specimen 1176, also known as the Barnacle Gun. Oh yes, we get one of the barnacles as, a, as the now weapon. Kid, don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> and what it does is, well, naturally as a killing weapon, same as the barnacle. The jibbing. It has grotesque sounds, to say the least. But I can only, like, pull, out. Uh... Ah, come on. There we go. Eagle love boat. We be making another run. Thank you. But I can only, uh, pull, like, stuff... That's, like, lower than its own mass. So not... None of these rocks, even. I think, yeah, maybe the hound dies, so... The head crab is probably the only creature in the game, which you can pull towards the barnacle gun itself. But this is the fun part. Oh, okay. I'm actually gonna kill you with shotgun. Here we go. The fun part of it is actually like, uh, well to say the least, since we don't get a, like a power assist movement in this game, I can already tell that since we don't have an HEV. But instead of that, we get the barnacle gun as a very good movement thing. Ow. Too bad it just has a cooldown between every uh, every use. Ah! Shit! No! 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 Don't kill me! Thank you. Before you attack, wrap you waka! <laughs> Indeed. One HP. This is not good. I thought it wouldn't actually have like a cooldown at all, but it does. What about the secondary fire actually does? Nothing! Shit! I still have to get used to that, to say the least. 
Yes, yes. Before, we were still only able to coerce the creature into latching onto organic material. Can't kill you, actually. Unfortunately, the administrator has called me down to the anomalous materials lab this morning for an important experiment. This really so pisses me off. Me too. But I actually have to Express wait for this. Number 1176 and log anything else you can find. Much obliged, you little piece of shit. Let's go. Finally, so I better save here instead. Let's try this again. The headcrab was. Dance. You wanna dance? Here's a dance for you. Wait a minute. So I can't pull the crates too, can I? No, no, I cannot. What the hell? Well, the secondary fire just does nothing, to say the least, yeah. Oh god, you ha you're out of ducats! Well. Well done, dear sir. Five ducats. Ha ha ha! Finally, I knew this day would come. I'm safer now. What's that supposed to mean? Did you actually meant to spam? Oh my goddamn messages! Yeah, you'll get him back. Well, I'm actually not safe from all the uh, the sound effects, but yeah. I'm actually gonna frag you with a grenade. Should maybe cut that a little bit. Nope, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> I do love how the uh, the spores just react to basically anything. Like uh, they just shoot the spores if you shoot at them. Or if a if something just blows n uh, nearby them or something like that, but mainly the uh, the shots will trigger them, and it's hilarious. Ah! Ouch! Oh, by the way, I did add some a uh, couple uh, couple new screams to the HL screen one, but you don't you better not test that like with all those freaking users. Ouch! What I should do is, uh, let's see. Let me go here. No, not die. I should have died. Ah, I still took some damage. I don't know if I can actually just be like this so I don't take much damage. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, do I have to, like, pull myself all the way there? Unless I actually want the, uh, the ammo for my sport launcher. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Jib them all. We're gonna jib them all together. For instance, this guy. And this guy. Sadly, the aircrafts don't even get to test to the, uh, the monocles. <laughs> Thanks, Kugori. But in any case, I think we can use the barnacles on barnacles. Ironically enough, they will die to, like, their own... Ouch. No, no we cannot. Actually, we're immune while it's being inside a barnacle. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, I'm not dying here. I'm just inside... Oh, there we go. No, I am. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't dying for a while, but until I actually let the mouse... Ah, mouse one! Yeah, it doesn't work. I thought it would actually work, but never mind. No more head crabs or anything like that. Twenty ducats. <coughs> oh, you're still alive. No, oh, now you're dead. And in pieces. Holy shit! Can agree more. All that's usually left of them is the uh, the shock roach, which just disappeared. Holy shit! Have five decades again. All right. 
You'll get likes since you're a subscriber. You'll get uh, like 10 ducats per five minutes instead, yeah. Now listen, yeah, of course there's the active viewer thingy as well. So, uh, If you're active, I don't know, like, what the interval is, like, how many streams you you should be active to get a bonus, but that's also, like, five, so you get 15 ducats in total in five minutes. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. Control room, that door kept no noise whatsoever. Wait a minute, was there, like, a, uh, a displacer section? I mean, I don't... I do have the ammo for, oh, no, not the ammo for uh, the second fire though. So yeah, I should when I get the uh, third ammo for the displacer. I probably should check like, if there's anything I could teleport to. There's usually those sections when it gives you like 60 ammo. There's another sin section. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's save here. Oh, I knew it! It's a darker place now. I don't know if we've been here already. It just looks like one of those places in which we've been here. In which we've been to already. Ah, fell down! Shit. Oh, nice that it actually just loaded the, uh, the last save, yeah. Very, very good. Ah. Right, uh, here. Da ah. Damn it. Yo. Ah. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Let's jump this time so we yeah, we're actually safer that way. There we go. Got some ammo. I like these sections. Oh shit! Why we teleport over there? Yeah, indeed. What was that for? Did I take the uh, the wrong kind of TP or what? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Well, there's no other TP basically, and uh, I could have gone gone like either way can I jump back maybe not I'd rather not save here but ah, shit. <laughs> why did I press the windows key by accident all right there we go I don't have windows lock on my freaking keyboard right now but I wouldn't kill this so I could go wait uh, could go down there as well but first I have to go here Oh, don't jump. Oh, thought I would take fall damage. Nope. Better get it. Yeah, indeed. Whoop. I didn't have those, those armors right there, but... Yeah, just... Why? Why does it teleport me over there? Well, right, fine, I'm not gonna use the freaking piece of shit displacer there. But I cannot break this either, so I kinda have to. Yeah, this is where I came from. <coughs> Can't go anywhere else. Kinda have to use the displacer here. Oh, I didn't... No, there we go. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe use the barnacle launcher, yeah. The launcher, barnacle gun. Ah, uh, quick! Shit. Alright, I wanna... I wanna save over there. When... Uh, actually, just before I take the TP. I wanna save there. There we go. Alright, save it. Here, have the barnacle launcher and gun ready. Damn it, it's just too slow. I don't know 
if I still made it myself, and now the mouse is visible. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Uh, <coughs> cannot even like. Now it worked. And now I'm here. I I do not. <laughs> why did it do that? I couldn't agree more, demo man. Like why did it do that when previously it just teleported me right there? I guess it just knew that I was like done for when I uh, when I saved there. <coughs> About that. I think they just launched a fail safe there. If I actually saved at the wrong position there and just got myself soft locked, it just teleported me there instead. So that's really very clever. I don't know. Good work, Randy Pitchford. Thought of something else. Alright, so, uh,. There was a massacre here. <coughs> Wonder who did this. No storage. Keep clear. <coughs> Sorry about that. Specimen observation area. What the hell happened? I clicked away from my screen. I hope opposing force does not have the same kind of mouse problem. No. Let's go, welcome. <laughs> what is that emote? Like another version of the monk as emote or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> I know you already know Shadow, but um, usually on my streams he tends to be a bit of a, how would I say? P-R-A-T. Brat. With the voice lines and sound commands. Yeah, he, he's having a fun time. He just lost all of his ducats because he spammed too many of the voice lines, and that's the only thing that actually is costing... Wait a minute. I've been here already, yeah. I don't have to be here anymore. So now he's only playing the sound files, which are just uh, free. Alright. So I gotta go... To the observation area, I guess, where those two... Shit. Freaking elevators. Two aliens were... Here. Aha! And I'm here again. I gotta make some noise with my grenades to the other direction. You didn't hear shit from me. You heard the shit from the grenade. I should probably get those items, so yeah, before I'm, well, I'm gonna save here, but before I'm going, I should get all these items. <coughs> and I excuse Cusco if you just joined, of course, uh, God, I still have a bit of a flu since I haven't streamed for five days because of the whole flu. I mean, no, it's not really a flu, but it's a cold. And pretty much the uh, the worst is over of it, like, like the, uh, the fever I just had, but... Uh, Still might sound like a broken record, although not more suitable for Duke Nukem quotes, stuff like that. Usually one of my voices is a little worn off, I'm just like, I don't know, sound like a storyteller. I could read the, uh, ah, oh, shit! Hello, Bordy Tentacle. Is on the inside already? It could be. Well, it's a five-hour game, yeah, it's like... I remember playing it through, but it's been five years also. I just played this directly after Half-Life. I can't remember much of it, but... We haven't even seen all the uh, the other aliens that weren't in the uh, the main game. Gotta be careful with this. Do not... No, 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 no. You heard nothing. I didn't even need that battery. Why am I here? No, I cannot get back. What's that? What's this? Shut up. Yeah, I'm feeling better. Yeah, I thought of actually streaming again because I don't have the fever anymore. That yeah, could be, yeah, I don't know. Could be longer than five hours, but the first time I played it, it was on the same difficulty as now, even on medium, I believe. 
I wouldn't estimate that it only took me like six hours or so. I don't know. But it's been five years. Where the hell do I go? I cannot even get back up there or anything like that. What the hell? I don't go through that door since it's broken as hell. I want to run around. Open! Ah! Eat this, you bastard! Wait a minute, I'm not Barney. I'm uh, Adrian Shefford. Who also says nothing, pretty much. It's a miracle people actually could hear him through the radios. Is when I pressed use on him, they ordered it like, Shefford, you're alive! <laughs> I was young. Five hours barely. The problem is opposing the forces and as rich or open as it could be at an HL1. Where the hell do I go? Oh, yeah, Barnacle Launcher, of course. Sploosh! Ouch! Still got hit by the, uh, the tentacle. There we go. I love this gun. And, oh, come on. I do have to platform here, and then, of course, you're attacking at the same time. Here. Hurt! Catch! I really hate platforming here. Unless you're a speedrunner, this could be uh, very difficult. <laughs> God damn it! Ho, 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 and a bottle of Jack. Yeah, excuse the shadow here. Would you actually just please stop? Seriously, I'm, I'm not killing anybody here, so it's pointless to do that. Er, damn it! Pressing back at the wrong time. I, I want to press back in the... Like in the air. To stop my momentum in the air. Oh, that didn't help. Well, I gotta go there. Don't attack me. Thank you. There we go. And I'll go there. Down the hatch. You're <laughs> a little troll, yeah. Ironically enough, he's my moderator, and he's just doing that all the time in my streams. He's a good dude, though. Alright, another radio! This is Corporal Adrian Sefford. I'm almost eaten by those freaking tentacle thingies right there from Zen. And now I'm just completely at 80%. Ah, I wouldn't kill this. Thanks, Rizzo. Are you there? We need backup in the waste sector. Some sort of worm creature. I know, right? I don't know if that was a pre-recorded message or anything like that, but I faced the same kind of piece of shit monsters myself. And nobody's answering for it. Unit one power. All right. Oh, unit one power is uh, off right now. Oh, I see. I gotta go here where the fan actually stopped. Forget free, forget about Freeman. You mean, yeah? <laughs> You're his f moderator. Pitworm's nest. Oh yes, we are actually closing into the end. Oh yes. Yeah, forget about Freeman. I do. I. Oh my God. Those sounds already remind me of the freaking most annoying thing ever in the game. Maybe the second most. Worms nest. From the sounds alone, you may already tell that that is the pit worm. Oh, yeah, Mal sure as hell did forget about Freeman. Dun 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 dun. Way station one. And you're just thinking what could be making a noise like that? Half a three confirmed. Oh yes, it's this beast. Oh god, I remember this. Being super horrible. I just don't- Ah, shit! It's an eagle! Holy shit! Nope. Gotta take cover whenever he does that laser. Oh shit! Opens the door! Thank you! HLVR confirmed. 
November, December. Not the bees. <laughs> I think it's HL scream actually. Yeah, that's the uh, the scientist scream. But I, I forgot to say, I did add, like, uh, what the title already says that, but I did add, add the hello command if you're joining the stream and you want to play that. And then, uh, then I added the scientist command, just exclamation scientist. Ah, That's... it's good to see you. <laughs> That's just random uh, scientist sounds. Ah! Besides that, like scientist one-liners, I mean. Stuff like... Do you know who ate all the donuts and stuff like that? Oh, I gotta drop down there. Don't want to take any more damage from you. Ooh, boy. Run! Hello. <laughs> now, I'm, ju I'm just rejoicing when Shadow is out of ducats. He's not spamming them anymore, yes? <laughs> you can still spend the sound commands, pretty much, not the one line of commands, but yeah. Stop! Stop! Uh oh. Flush toxic waste! Oh, I can't do that. Gearbox and valve. Very, very good. Was waste flush the, uh, the publisher then? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Give 20 darks. <laughs> Wish I could add a command like that, though. Ah, DSR being the moderator would have beers the hell out of that. Flush gearbox. <laughs> Oh, I did have the M249, pretty much. Could use it against anybody. And the thing is, I, I got this very early on in the game, just from a uh, another soldier. And it's one hell of a gun. The closest to a minigun that I can get in Half-Life. Half-Life itself was, I don't know if it's, it was supposed to have a minigun as a weapon, but it was supposed to have the, uh, the minigun grunt. I think of the beta, pretty much. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I don't get that reload animation though. He pulls out the box before opening the hatch on the 249. It's weird. Great to run faster. I mean, with the barrels, yeah. The hell was that sound? Barnacle. Radioactive goo shit. Out of order, alright. But pump gearbox access. Had your first ever chalupa today. Chalupa, ch ch chalupa. I'm not native English speaker, so I'm sorry about that. But I have the same issue with that word as the uh, the word, what is it? Garand. M1 Garand or M1 Garand. Chalupa. Well, I don't know any Spanish either. Oh, I see. Oh, classic Star Wars crushers. <laughs> now, this was already in Half-Life, of course. Not the same section, but like the same kind of section. In which we almost got crushed. And Oh, shit, there would have been some radioactive ammo there. Well... What I have not enough for a, uh, a teleportation. It's a type of small boat and the Mexican dish is named after it, I see. Oh, so it, wait, did it create me a path or something there? I don't know. I better see what it did. Okay, there. Well, I should... It did nothing. 
But oddly enough, yeah, I think I already showed it in my Half Life playthrough. But the uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the crushers were actually like trains or like trams you could actually just use and then just like spool back and forth in speed. Come on, go! There we go. Much better. I don't know if there was anything else to do there, but that's what I did. Valve Station 1, or 2 rather, was done. Hello, man. And goodbye. Thank you. That's where I came from. Damn it. This was here, I guess. This is another entrance. I don't exactly know when they added the uh, the HD models in Half Life, but and I've already told this, but like it was sensible that that they changed the uh, the Glock to a Beretta because it also uses nine mm ammo. But it wasn't like I didn't understand why they changed the MP5 to an M4. It doesn't use it like nine millimeter ammo, as far as I know. It's five five six. It was blue shift. I see. I'm gonna shoot a laser up. Oh, there you are. There you go. Steam vent. It's pretty much where they got the uh, the platform. They show games on today. And I will get to, like, Steam, well, I, all I can really tell about it is just... It was supposed to be, like, a main thing for Cold Source, Cold Source games and such. Provide patches and everything like that, even servers for the, uh, the Cold Source games. Multiplayer games, mostly. Crap! Hello! Ouch! Still trying to figure out what I should have done here. The HD models were being shown off when Half-Life was being made for the Dreamcast. Oh, I see, yeah. Maybe even for the PS2, yeah. The PS2 actually... Did it have the HD models? I really can't remember. It had the HD models on the NPCs, but maybe not the... We I really cannot remember if it actually had them on the weapons. But the PS2 version had Half-Life Decay. HD health models. What do you mean health? It had some cool looking models that the PC version didn't have. Oh, I see. So even the health pickups and everything got uh, modified. Yeah, there was nothing else here. Unless I really missed something. I just... Oh, oh shit. Could have gone through the door, but it's blocked. Out of order, my ass! Let me in! Kill those guys. Can't really walk on that. Oh, here. Oh, I see. Of course. 60k... 60,000 gallons, 40,000 gallons, 20,000... Ah. Zero gallons now! Or unlimited, I don't know. Ribs and pieces. Outtake. Take. Hmm. Emergency override. So this is pretty much the gearbox. Cleverly named as it just has gears in it. I like what they tried to do to include the uh, the developer and the publisher company name in just one chapter, basically. Mission, I should say, maybe. I don't know. like this on PS2. I'm, I'm gonna check that after the stream, but yeah, you can, the rest of you, you can actually look what it just looked like on the PS2. PS2 also used the HD, yeah, oh yeah, I remember that actually. Because it did use the HD uh, NPC models, so I figured it would just actually use the HD gun models as well. 
But it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess... What you already said, Cusco. Yeah, they probably assumed the average player wouldn't just know that. But the M4 just doesn't use 9mm. It uses 5.56mm instead. And NATO cartridges. Cartridges. But yeah, now we have both on, I believe. Even the valve station. Oh. I gotta save here once more. Just completed Link's Awakening earlier. That's a difference, so Mirren turned into a seagull. What the hell? That can happen. No deaths. Oh, come on. I thought I already activated that. Clean this shit. Main pressure valve. Let's try this again as well. I guess you first gotta turn the the gearbox on, then the uh, the valve. Or did I do something wrong? Oh, there's the valve. I see. Uh, I gotta use the barnacle. You can't catch me! Ah, shit! Yes, you can actually. Quickly. Ouch! What's wrong? Did I turn it off by accident or what? Ah! Shit! Shit, 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 shit. Climb up. Or something. But I'm just going back. Oh, what a strafe jump. Yeah, I just turned it off by accident. Didn't know that you could actually turn it off. Wait. Gearbox! Why do you do this to me? Randy! There we go. I think this helps. Ow. Quickly. Ow. There we go. Oh, it's poor ammo. There we go. Flush toxic waste. Say good night, Mr. I don't know, one eyed bastard. Come on. There we go. <laughs> indeed. Indeed, engineer. And he's in jibs. How satisfying is that? Toxic waste can do that to you, even if you're a giant alien like that. Realism, yeah. If you actually just pull it again, it just goes off. That means I cannot get in there either, so I actually gotta climb up. <laughs> so now I can provide a monocle piece of shit and move forward. Wait. Can I? That's poor ammo. Ah! It's fine. Uh. How do you do that? Oh yeah, here, of course. There we go, bridge control. I needed the barnacle for that, actually. I thought I would actually do it again. Yeah. Foxtrot uniform. Ooh. Let's get a snipe you with the, uh, the block here, and I already did. Nice. <coughs> you seem to be dead already, are you? I don't know. Your tongue is actually hanging very short, so that's usually what that means. Oh, there we go. It's actually... Oh, I always wonder, like, what these freaking thingies were. It's like, yeah, I gotta swim here, then just randomly climb up there. I don't know. I was gonna follow them. You got jumped a little. Come on. Give me that! Or do I actually have max four ammo? It could be. <laughs> I didn't realize I could spray in single player, but I guess I could, yeah. 
Come on. T. I pressed T and it just randomly displayed a no to campers spray. Come on. Say. Perkele. There's really chat I can spray in single player. Level 9. It, yeah, it has to time out maybe. Should I swim down or what? I don't know. The uh, thing is went up there, but there's something right here, maybe. I like how the uh, the water is actually murkier when I'm diving right here. It's just but when I go up here, I can just see the uh, the whole surface. Not the whole surface, but under underwater clearly. Andy! Made one mistake once more. Yeah, there we go. Uh, use that. There we go. I like the barnacle gun. Me guys, nope, black ops guys. These guys look more like CTs, I don't know. And we get our trusty M249 once more. Get some. Yeah! Shit! Reload your piece of shit! <laughs> Man, what timing. Oh, suddenly the gun is actually faster when I'm using it. I just like quick fixed it and it's actually faster now. I don't know. Damn it. There we go. Is there anything here? Nope. Nothing else in the uh, the container either. A couple of sla satchels here. Nothing else. Get my knife out. I'm actually faster. No, I'm not. This is not Counter Strike. I will get to that. In fact, I will get to two different versions of uh, the first Counter Strike. Maybe three if I can get my hands on the 1.4 version or something like that. But I would like to see. Oh. oh. I'd like to see a version where the M4 actually has a, uh, a scope. I'm oh, well. your bad feeling. Are you now? I feel like this vegetable that's gonna fly right at him is gonna be his bad feeling. Yep, just like that. So we got 50 now, yeah, all of a sudden. Holy shit. Could have been more. Duck a GS. Hey man, good to see oh, you. Oh, hello. Wow, I can't believe you made it past those masked freaks. Those snipers have pinned us down here pretty good. We tried making a break for it, but they know we're here. They're just waiting for their shots, and those bastards are patient. <coughs> Really now. Snipers, eh? Do we have a sniper ourselves yet? No. Not just yet, but I feel like we can get a sniper rifle from them, so it's the weapon we already used in the the boot camp. Alright, so where are the snipers? I have no ammo for my deagle, so it's just the pistol mostly if I want to be the most accurate. Oh, over there. They're not snipers. But they're easy, by the way. Just like that. Could be one sniper right there already, but... Oh. Gotta check every single corner. I saw this guy. 
<laughs> Thank you. He's dead. Oh, could be somebody up there. Yep. <laughs> he just dropped the sniper rifle right there. I just knew where that was him. For a comical of the, uh, the freaking sniper rifle itself just dropped. It's like, boop, boop. Totally just appeared there. Oh. That could be dangerous. There's trip mines all over the place, and there's everything else just uh, in between. Propane canisters. Oh, I can get the sniper myself now, can I? Yes, I can. We have the sniper rifle, which we already tested in the boot camp. And I believe... Ooh, extraordinary use of color. The composition is a bit lacking. Well, you mean this guy, yeah. Wait a minute, he did get splattered all over the place, so... uh, There you go. Now that's extraordinary color right there. Sniper, it's at slot seven, uh, six rather. Gotta remember that. I usually don't want to scroll weapons because, like, well, basically in any FPS, but like the slots six and seven are a bit far. Five is barely reachable for like grenades and such, but six, I don't know. They should have just like put the sniper and maybe even the M249 to the fourth slot. This place it would have been good also for, I don't know, four. Sadly, we don't encounter the, uh, what is it now? The ghost cannon, as far as I remember. Maybe I should actually just explode these with grenades. Or not! <laughs> <laughs> Biggest explosion I've seen in the whole game. And indeed, we didn't even save it. Now that's a mixture of ordinary little, little, little color. Yeah, I actually gotta be very careful what I'm shooting if I don't wanna oh, explode those crates. There we go. <coughs> Damn. Sorry about that. Push my mic away a little as well. There we go. So let's get that sniper again. I really don't want to do that then. Yeah, the whole place just explodes. You should have warned me, Sergeant, whatever your rank is. Wait, oh, yeah, I was there. I believe at least, yeah. Buddy hops. I really can't buddy hop here since. If you hold space when you're landing, it actually doesn't make another jump. So you gotta hold or press space right when you land, so it actually makes a jump. That's the difference between Quake and this game, or this engine at least. There we go. So yeah, we don't want to blow the whole place up with these uh, grenades or with the crates either. So that's a. Uh, Oh, never mind. I thought that was actually just two trip mines on top of each other, but I actually can't get here. Oh. Whew. Stay right there. Gonna save here just in case. I want to see, like, uh, close back here. Oh, it's a route here where I can just, yeah, dust the. Damn it! Boom! We dodged the trip mines by going back here. And he just exploded. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I don't know what happened to him. Anyone with snipers? Snooper up! Snipper! I can't, like, defuse the trip mines, so the, uh, the soldiers will have to stay there. Unless I could, well, yeah, I could escort them, like, from back there, but, yeah. Knock, knock. Nobody here. Oh, I got some displacer ammo. I don't know if I can teleport here. I better save and test. Ooh. 
Ooh, there is a place. I love the displacer just because of that, but sadly, like, uh... I don't know, when you do have the ammo for it, you're just, like, using it for this. Sacred places and stuff. But, like, it's, it's actually optional if you really want to use it there. But... It's also, like, the, uh, the very BFG of Half-Life. The primary fire just shoots a projectile that just annihilates everything in just many, many yards radius. Ooh, oh, I saw him. I can survive for long here if I just stay there. If I sit here any longer, I'm gonna have one severe case of Black Ops. Bullet sponges. Secondary fire is the yeah. If you just want supplies, I'll everything. barbecue it's your ass ammo. and molasses. So I don't know. Well, I'm actually gonna test. Okay, so those crates don't explode the whole freaking area. I don't know what was wrong with those other crates. I guess Randy didn't want them to uh, to be exploded then. Why am I even blaming Randy all the time? Oh well, it's it's a gearbox game. Nothing here. Save. Next area, I guess. I could just bring my soldier friends with me, but... Oh, they're fighting the aliens. Holy shit! Indeed. Uh, welcome, Rodden. Yeah, sorry, I gotta remove the Quake 3 Holy Shit command from the... Uh, what is it? The list down below. It's not actually... It doesn't exist anymore. There we go. Still very effective against the uh, the shocker itself, even though he's carrying a shock roach himself. Oh, Caius, what's up? You can. I've already just said it many times on the stream, but you can now just do the exclamation hello command if you actually just want a randomized hello sound or a greeting sound. There's only like seven of them currently, but I will add like more. If I just find some more from different FPS games. Hello there. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> What's mostly in there is just the uh, the Half-Life series. Like the uh, well, the scientist greetings and everything like that. Even Barney's hello. And hello, sir, stuff like that. And then uh, from Half-Life 2 is the the male citizen. Hey, Doc, sound. Then there's GLaDOS from Bo Portugal, the very first word he actually says in the series, yeah, when you start Portal 1. And I will get to that when I get to the, uh, the Source games, pretty much. And in fact, it will be, yeah, pretty much after uh, I'm I finish Counter-Strike, the last Gold Source game I will do in the, uh, the series of Gold Source games. Oh, it's this place, oh god. The hell was that explosion? Yeah, it's so dark here, so you actually have to use the flat, well, not the flashlight, but the night vision. Which means you're facing bolter gores all the time. Eat this, you bastard! The nice about, the nice thing about the bolter gores is that they always jib. No matter what weapon you use or what kind of damage you deal. Aiming. There we go. Do they ever die? There we go. <coughs> Eat shit and die. Stop. Let me see what you said. Ah, Jesus. Also, oh, it's actually very. 
very much light there, so I don't have to use the uh, flashlight for the vampires in there. But yeah, what, what did you say? You should make a, the Hello One free, because it's just a, well, yeah, it's just a greeting, but I don't know. Maybe I should. Let's see. So I gotta see it worse. So there's some light right there, so I don't have to use the, uh, the night vision right there. Oop. Jesus. I don't know if the pistol is actually more effective against you than the uh, the SMG is. It is against the barnacles. You might have the same case. Gypped. See my battery for a while. Could be full already, I don't know. It charges fast. Gotta be aware like yeah, how much you're actually using. Funny how the Voltigors actually just have no uh, no eye, at least what I saw, yeah. Jesus. The name is pretty much accurate. Multi gore. They always jib when they die, so that's very fitting. What are you doing, man? You're going through walls. Hacks. Uh oh, reload, 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 reload. Maybe use the spore launcher. Eat this pencil of dick. Oh, he ate that. And he was a pencil dick. Ah, here we go. The watery sections now. Which, in pretty quick. Well, no, they don't actually, but I can go up here. Hello, patrons. Jibbed. 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 Damn it. Reload, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, shit, I'm at 6 HP. they going twenty one HP Come on dude where are you? Oh there he is. It was pretty fast. there. I don't know if they can actually shoot down here. Oh. I can still be here for cover. Yeah. After they're out of spikes, they, uh, they have to melee. That's a pretty cool detail on the pit drones. You can see from their face, like, how many uh, spikes they have left. I like what they did with that. There we go. It's just an infinite amount of pit drones, I see. Just realized that myself. Uh, they wasted my bullet ammo for no damn reason at all. Wanna push this? I don't know what that does. Oh, it just closes that, I see. Didn't even want to waste my bullet ammo all the time. Oh, another one. Push it! Ah! Didn't take any damage from that. 
All right, what now? Down there? Damn it, I missed. Shotgun. Melee is very risky because they're even faster with melee than you are. Down here, up, down here. More sections like this. Now with pit drones. Oh. <laughs> he just chipped his friend. Come on. At least he cannot get here, yep. He's too fat. Too fat to get here. And he's jibbed. Come here. I don't know why they just like stand still for a while and get hurt like that. It's like <laughs> it's a little glitch they're doing. It's usually when they're moving and yeah, then then they get hurt. <laughs> hurt. Come on, die already. I'm taking a lot of shotgun shots. There we go. That is much better. All of you are dead. Well, except you, of course. You sound like piggies. Oh, you're mini Voltigore. Look at that. Baby Voltigores. They cannot even do anything. They can do mini bolts. They only take like two shotgun shots here. Two to three. Oh, look at that. It was nesting here. Just killed the mini voltage cores. Oh. <coughs> Not all of them, it seems. Should go there. Better save. Stay here for a moment so I can actually get my flashlight or night vision out. Charged up, I mean. Always keep calling the flashlight because it's. Originally a flashlight, but a post and force made it a night vision goggle system. Here we go. Oh, skeletons everywhere. Nope. Cannot jib him, of course not. What have been in layers? If actually, if there were actual models just lying on the ground there. Jesus. Lying on the ground there, I could have just jibbed him and then the, uh, the bones and everything would have just had like flesh and everything. <laughs> the uh, the skull again would have just missed its jaw, but also like have the left eye. I don't know. Usually, what Half Life One has for jibs. Spores. Thank you very much. It's Shepard. Hey, stand back and I'll cut it. We're gonna need your help. I suggest you get out of the way as well. Oh, I thought you were actually gonna cut the whole uh, whole square there, but never mind. Get out of the way! Sir, it's good to see another man in uniform. It's a real mess out there. I mean, these things are coming out of the damn walls. Ain't no way around them either. Hmm. They just keep coming. Heard about some kind of big standoff at the dam up ahead. I say we make our break for it now. It ain't gonna get any better, that's for sure. And I bet they could use our help. Well, you're right about that, but you're a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, indeed I am. Yeah, we all have the same voice, just differently pitched. Alright, I gotta get some right, heals from this ahead. guy. I like the heal he's just providing. Oh, that's better. Hmm, that's one doomed space marine. Sure, we can do more damage that way. Well, at least we're not space marines, so we're not doomed. Moving out, Corporal. Alright. Anything else here? Oh, yeah, sniper, of course. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> I got a bad feeling about this mission. Uh, Roger that. Uh, Roger that. Love these guys. Uh, commentary is the same with Have the. You seen uh... Any other soldiers from my platoon? Uh, Roger that. <laughs> But yeah, same goes with Half-Life 1 alone, it's just like the, uh, the scientists... Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. The scientists and the Barneys all this just having the, uh, is out of control. the conversations. Oh, hello. More Baltagors. It's this, Pacer Dick. Damn, he's not dead. We got jibbed. But I use this instead. BFG time! Oh. He died just when you played the diff sound, and I missed my BFG. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Alright, let's see. Uh... Okay, check in. Just gonna reload every single weapon, have my BFG ready. It's of course called the Displacer, but... Here, Who wouldn't call it a BFG? Who didn't call it a BFG when they played Opposing Force, seriously? Unless they didn't play Doom. And it's a real miracle if they did not. Ah! Or even hear, hear about Doom. Incoming! Incoming! already got jibbed and didn't even need a BFG. You need though. Here you go. Shit. Well, that was pretty effective. Very, very effective indeed. All right. <laughs> that was a shock roll just coming out of the way of that grenade. That was hilarious. What are you shooting me for? Who's just shooting at me for something? Ah! Uh oh. Alien alert. Alien alert. Don't explode this, please. Oh, what I can do. Oh, really? Cujo? I can snipe that freaking <coughs> propane canister there. Oh, but he won't die. Won't come late. No, he won't. I'm gonna do the stealthy then. Bogey's where? Why are you shooting at? Government cover up job description. He's dead. Sploosh. He got displaced. Jesus! That exploded something else too. Oh, thank you very much. I got a bad feeling about this mission. Yeah, well, maybe if you Can't seem like Disneyland. actually would shoot at the uh, aliens instead of just talking shit all the time. You're dead. You're dead. Thanks for taking care of the uh, the shark roaches at least. <coughs> Yeah, what I could have also used is the uh, M249, of course, but that won't kill us. Eat lead, you little piece of shit! I don't know what ammo this is, maybe 7.62s, but... It's gonna be in your face already! Already, I don't know where that came from. Up yours, too! And yours! Oh. I know. Sorry, the weapon can be very, very, uh, reckless. And no, 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 it wasn't my fault. I just got some more ammo for my M249, I wouldn't kill it. Alright. Yeah, sometimes... 
Even though Half-Life One's NPC system was, well, let's just say mediocre at times, a bit like maybe on the good side, of course, like still very good. Sometimes the bots can be like in your way at times, and then you, especially in fighting situations like this, opposing force can just suffer in those. You may actually just shoot at your marines and everything like that. So yeah, stuff like that can happen. Just running in and destroying the aliens. What you can optionally do is just not that, but uh, go for a stealthy route with the sniper, for instance, if you just have the ammunition for it. Here we go. Damn it! Why does an M249 have 50 ammo in one friggin' box? What does it matter? Because you did. Cannot enter that. <clears throat> I mean, weirder still is that the uh, M249, like, as fast as it already shoots, it can also, like, push you back with the uh, the force that it just does. Like, one shot already just punches me a yard away, I don't know. But just look at that, even if I'm just jumping... <laughs> I can gain some momentum out of it. I don't know if it just works the same way vertically. No, just horizontally, of course. It's a very good stretch for speedrunners, I guess, if you just have enough ammo for some certain turns and uh, hallways, for instance. Just do this. Go backwards bunny hopping and then boost yourself with this. I think I actually haven't seen any speedruns of opposing force. No, I haven't actually, no. So they may use the M249 like that, just to boost themselves around. Alright, where should we go? Everything is blocked. I cannot even go inside the buildings. Up oh, there we go. Secure access. Very secure, now that the door is actually busted open. Did I come this way, actually? No, no I didn't. Yeah. It's a different place entirely. Oh, look at that! We're at the hydroelectric dram, dr 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 dram, dam. Horny pile of dynamite! Yep, indeed. We get to defeat the Gargantua once more in opposing force. <laughs> How fitting, because I just have one more, one more BFG for you. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, wait a minute. Yeah, they actually have some dynamite for them. Yeah, they have tied the uh, the Gargantua up. <coughs> what are you shooting it for? Just blow up the freaking bridge. Oh, there's a teleport up there. It's not a bridge, it's the dam. I can't climb the thing up. Yeah, it's a Half-Life 1 map. We just were here. And we can enter here, I believe, if we want to. Yeah, it's just the other side of the dam. Are they gonna blow it up or what? They just haven't tied up, but... I they have some dynamite there, but they just won't blow it up. No. Very good fight. Nothing actually happened. Besides wasted shots. Let's try that again at least. Let's see. I like sword. That's a personal <laughs> weapon. I'm gonna try the, uh, let's see. Oh, that's G-Man right there. Can I... Oh, I cannot grapple with G-Man. That is G-Man right there entering the TP. He's, I think he's having a call or something. Let's see. Yep. It's like, yep. Can I, can I have a uh, pepperoni pizza at home, please? I don't know. Maybe he's just like, help. There's a gargantua here being dynamited. It's your old freaking race, Nailant. Do something. Yeah, he's probably having a call with the, uh, the Nailant. 
himself. Oh, that's where I gotta go. Maybe a mistake, but... Ah, there's a freaking cooldown. I wanna... I wanna try it on the other one. I don't know if I can reach there without the gargantua just smashing me to pieces. But I gotta get to the other side, I believe. Save here. <laughs> Don't kill me now. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! I barely missed. Let's try this again. There we go. Sayonara, scumbag! <laughs> so it was very hilarious to see them just getting blown up. See that one more? I will not fail you, sir. Right away, sir. Let's go. Oh, you still have <laughs> don't have enough ducats. Uh, Roger that. How sad. That's actually okay, very good. good. Spams them all the, all the time. If you already haven't noticed. Clear this area. Oh, I see, so they cannot come with me. Oh well. Ah, where the hell am I going? Oh, down here. Shit! It's a very, very, very slow fall. <coughs> the package. Well, can I go here? Can I? Nope. How about here? The package, eh? I can't go here, but can I go back? Ah! I wanted to go back. No, I'm actually stuck. There we go. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nothing. Go any further in the uh, the pipe, so I actually gotta go here. I thought there would be some ammo or something like that. Hello, Shepard. I don't know what those black ops are up to, but it doesn't involve getting us out of here alive. No, we've got no choice but to fight our way out. That's very Let's much true. Go. Oh, I guess we're going in. No butts if if some butts in the You piece of shit machine gunner! I could have died myself if I do that. There we go. <laughs> Never though the music can be just like oh, very loopy and stuff, it at least puts in into the action. It's very fitting for the uh, the combat scene. Thirty-five ammo. That's enough for a couple black up guys. And of course, loading screen. Yep, sure. I believe my soldier friend did not actually just come with me. Nope. <coughs> All right, that's a tank right there. I don't know if that's by the black ops or by us, the HECU. But clearly, some battle just wind here. Take cover! Oh, come on, that's just unfair. <laughs> We're right around the other side, I believe. Oh, he's here. I like how they throw their own spore grenades. Shit! Gotta be very fast with this. Oof. Is that Freeman bombing me? Oh, that's just a black hole. What? <laughs> yeah, indeed. What I can do before he bombs me. 
Oh, I actually cannot. <coughs> yeah, I cannot shoot him in the head, can I? First of all, the mortar's in the way, but can I break that glass? No, I cannot. It's bulletproof. Snipper proof. Let's try the end two four nine. Then up. Oh, thank God you didn't hit me. Thanks for the warning. All I can hear is just whistling around, whistling Dixie. <laughs> Come on, would you shoot already? God damn it, I was pressing mouse one all the time, but it, the M249 just did not shoot. Very good. Well, at least the shock roach made it. On the bright side, the shock roach made it. Let's gotta get this health first. Then he's bombing. God damn it. Did he just throw that grenade right, right, like directly at me? That was a direct hit with that freaking spore. All right, what I'm doing is use the spore against him, taste him, their old medicine, basically. Here we go. How'd you feel now? Come on. Why did you jib, but the other one actually didn't? Or you didn't either. There we go. Ow. Whoa! Seriously? Can I have some goddamn downtime for my battles and everything? I guess not. Right, he fires here. Can I take cover already? Or launcher. Or this. Not too effective against me. <laughs> why, why are you bombing there suddenly? Why the hell was he bombing there suddenly? I, just, I thought he was actually just bombing that direction right there. This one right here. But no, sadly no. It was too fast and he actually just targeted me. And my rocket goes missed. Shit. There we go. Come on, old off. 20 HP, yeah. No, I'm definitely gonna survive another freaking mortar blast if I just strafe jump all the time. Yeah, like so. <coughs> can you fire here, sucker? Can you? Well, you can't, but I can at you. I hope he's dead. Probably not. Ah! Jesus. Now he's dead. Nobody's controlling the mortar. Nope. Very good. 20 HP still. If I find some health right here or somewhere, I'll be saving. Yep, there we go. Ah! Actually, nope. 19 HP, now I'm even worse. No, I actually won't be saving before I find some more health. Or maybe I will. I don't even know. Oh, what's up, Indomitable? Welcome. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna save here just for this radio. 
Colfo Shepherd again. I don't know what the hell happened. This freaking marcher just died, but dealt like a hell of a lot of damage to me. Pick up. Adrian, is that you? Yes. We're holed up across the mortar field, but we're pinned Cover. down by a group of black ops. We'll open the bunker door, but you better get over here quick. Roger that. And, uh, yeah, no, no answers. Uh oh. Thankfully, I only had one bullet. Oh, there's more of you, of course. <laughs> How am I gonna survive this with freaking 19 HP? Maybe with a sniper. Or, yeah, a couple sniper shots will do the trick. When I enter the door, or exit the door rather, exit the building. Where are they? Did they suddenly decide to hide in quarters and everything? I don't know. Yeah, nobody's here. I have played, and in fact, I have played more Opposing Force multiplayer than Half-Life multiplayer, HLDM. Just for the sake of, like, uh, Capture the Flag, I guess. But I also just played it more because of the, the weapon selection thing. And even though Opposing Force didn't have the, uh, the Gauss Cannon or the, uh, the Gruon Gun, it still had a more multiplayer, I believe. At least the Gauss Cannon, so yeah. Wait, what? What did I take damage? It's from the tank. Where's the, where's the tank? Electrified or what? I have played, yeah, I have played with CS1. Oh, 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 what the? Why? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Mods in CS1.6 called Call of Duty, or what the hell, or just COD. Yeah, the thing is, I've seen some videos already, like, uh, where CSGO players actually play CS1.6 the first time. They go into the settings, and then they, I think it's the same here, actually, yeah. When they go to the options, then they immediately go to mouse. And they already are like, oh shit, 1.5 sensitivity or something like that. I, th I believe 3 is the default, and so they just put it to maybe 1.5 like I had it already. And then, then they're already like, wait, <laughs> auto-aim? Is that legal? They immediately think, like, what the hell, CSGO kids. Server mods with skins and classes and shops and shit. Call of Duty skins and shit, yeah, I see. I've I've been on those servers. I just didn't know what they were original originally. Yeah. Where are the freaking black ops? Just a moment ago, I just saw a couple of them attack me until I just loaded my save. But yeah, I will get to Counter Strike maybe right after I've done the multiplayer episode of basically the whole Gold Source engine. I will do I don't know Half Life Death Match, Opposing Force multiplayer, uh, Blue Shift. As far as I know, didn't actually have a multiplayer for itself. But then maybe Team Fortress Classic, then uh, I believe Deathmatch Classic. Day of Defeat, I believe I will do much later, maybe when I get to the uh, the series itself. But Counter-Strike will be the last one of those. And uh, I believe I will do like at least 1.5 and 1.6. I'll, I'll have to see if I get... Uh, some of the versions as well. Can I use this? Now? Oh, I see. Get some! I knew you would actually come out there as soon as I pick up this machine gun. What is this, a browning? I don't know, but they died. Yep. They did. They're, they're, like, they're not in jibs, but they're pretty much dead. CTF mods for Counter Strike. I'll be damned. I haven't played Capture the Flag in Counter Strike ever. And pretty much the most I've played out of all of the games is Counter Strike Source. It was pretty much my childhood game, if you could say that. Yeah, 2013, around that much. Six years ago only, but I wouldn't care less. It still is like a fascinating game. CSGO had only Holy been around for shit. like. Uh, Come on. Half a year, I believe. Yeah, only six months, and I just bought Counter-Strike Source instead. Yeah, better graphics than this, but I guess coming from Quake 2, that was way better. 
today. Well, it's actually like, uh, yeah, it took some influence from like Quake 2, the Quake 2 engine as well. For example, maybe the lighting and everything, like compared to Quake 1, this lighting is definitely like much more advanced. But uh, this is actually an enhanced version of the Quake 1 engine. You can even see that already from the the weapon view blobbing and everything like that. Well, not the blobbing, but bobbing, rather. Where am I supposed to go? I just picked up the machine gun. I just mounted the machine gun and everybody just came out around like there, but I don't know if I'm supposed to go here. But yeah, the thing is... And I've already talked about this theory, but I, I've just theorized that Steam wouldn't exist without Quake, pretty much. Excuse me, I got a running nose right now, but, but the thing is, like, Steam wouldn't exist without Quake. Because of Half-Life, the thing is, like, when Valve was founded, it was right after it was, when uh, Quake was released. And so Michael Labrash, also from Microsoft, joined uh, Valve. He was able to negotiate at id to get the license from uh, the Quake 1 engine. And so they modified the engine and made it the gold source. And later on, I think in 2003, when Steam actually came out, it would just provide things for the gold source and everything. But Valve actually had like no other choice for a full 3D engine at the time, rather than the Quake engine. They had, like, the Unreal, but Unreal wasn't even out yet. The game itself it wasn't even out yet. But I, I believe they still would have gotten the license if they just paid, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. Which was the price to pay for a license at that time. What am I doing here anymore? This... I went out of the door. Soldiers came out here, but it... then I loaded the save. Should I go here? I don't know. I already have run into Gordon Freeman in this game, in fact. It was when, uh, well, if you played the first Half-Life, you remember at Lambda Core, bef just before you enter Zen as Gordon Freeman, uh, there already was, kind of like at the mid, uh, well, maybe even the beginning of this game, there, uh, there was a scene where you could actually just like chase Gordon to the portal, but you would just be teleported into a different area, on the same map though, but into a different area where would you, you would just fall down to the abyss and get a different, like, uh, <laughs> ending thingy. Well, it's not an ending thingy, but you die with a status message, message stuff like that. If something like, subject attempted to create a, uh, a paradox or something like that. It was already in my first part, if you want to watch that, it's on my videos as mods. There's classes items like jet back going very, very fast. What? Team Fortress. Oh, they are oh, in the COD mod. Oh, I see. Where the hell am I supposed to go? What the hell? I don't know what I'm doing at this point, but I can't go up here. But I cannot go up here to the mortar, pretty much. Huh. So I do a very. Very good uh, strafe jump up there, but I cannot. <coughs> it's not really a strafe jump, it's a uh, Quake 1 style bunny hop. Adrian, is that you? Yes! Listen, we're holed up across the mortar field, but we're pinned down by a group of. Well, so that's why. We'll open the bunker door, but you better get over here quick. So I didn't activate the radio yet, that's why. So uh, then the soldiers came in from here. Yeah, like so. Come on. There we go. I did play CSGO for quite some time, more than I... Even before I started, like, streaming regularly with Overwatch and stuff. I did play that for quite a while, maybe even two years, two and a half years. Until I quit, because pretty much what people cared about is just the, uh, the skins and everything. At least in my view, that was. I got up to, like, maybe Distinguished Master Guardian. Or DMG in the game. But that was, that was way, like... It's been, like, already two years. Something like that, as I last played it. I do remember the, uh, the sound updates on the, uh, the weapons. But they weren't finished as I left, so, yeah. MG2, yeah. Oh. 
There we go. Can I finally get something? Yeah, so since I saw those two guys enter there as I activated the radio, how about now? Nope. I think I would have killed, yeah, I killed the Black Ops guys, so, uh, where the hell am I supposed to go? Not here, certainly. That's an invisible wall right there. Shouldn't be looking up a walkthrough again on this freaking series, but and it's been like five years since I played Opposing Force through, but I really cannot remember where I should go next. I saw soldiers come out there and then I just fired my machine gun. Oh, who's that? So should I go over there? Why well, can't I do this? Can I yeah, that's where I came from. Oh, gamer guy, what's up? Freaking Half-Life screams. I added a, like a scientist. Oop. Sound effect as well, a uh, one-liner, rather. Beware of the fake ones. What, do they just add some viruses for your PC or what? I will, in any case, just maybe not test that in multiplayer, unless I can actually find some very... Very vanilla, or, I wouldn't say vanilla, but like a server with no downloads whatsoever. It's just basically Counter Strike with nothing, even cosmetics or stuff like that. Oh, Jedi Outcast. Get a haircut. I got a haircut as well, actually. It's been like a, uh, a wall, actually, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should be here. This, the thing is, I. Like, Who's over there? Uh, that was the uh, the entrance to the other flat gate. Yeah, this one. There were people here. I want to reload the save. Yeah. Adrian, is that you? Listen, yeah, 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 yeah. Field, I went back. I know why I went backwards, but should I have gone backwards? Because the thing is, these guys spawned. Ouch! That is some damage right there. Let's try that again. Uh, we're gonna activate that, Adrian, then the save. <laughs> Here we go. Because the thing is, I saw these guys. <clears throat> Was this door open? Oh, now it is. All right, I see. Yeah, so it, it's this area. It's not the area at the fucking machine gun. Never mind. So yeah, you can get viruses from those. Yeah, fake servers. I see. Well. I guess they got put down. I better not destroy that, actually. Some of those radios can be very volatile, so they can actually just eat up your health. They already did in Half-Life 1. Maybe not in this. Confined space. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? Speaking of the laughing, though, I did go watch... Hmm, looks like I have the con. I did go watch the Joker, and I loved it. I really loved it, seriously. I did forget to mention about that, but seriously, it is one hell of a movie. Ah! I thought of, like, the superhero movies usually now, and I was really not into those ah, for a while. Even though I watched a lot of those as a kid, even the Dark Knight series, but... As far as the adventure series goes, I haven't seen any of those, and I thought it just wasn't gonna, like, interest me at all. But since the Joker was highly recommended, I went and watched that with, God damn it, with my little brother and my mom. So that was, like, it was one hell of a movie, to be honest. No spoilers, please, even though I have watched it, but certainly if... I recommend, those who haven't seen it, I recommend, just go and watch it. Who was it? Joaquin Phoenix. Is one hell of an actor as the Joker in the uh, the movie.
may see that one soon along with Rambo though. Oh yeah, the last blood, yeah. Movies are actually looking promising now. I'm just, yeah, it is, pretty much. Marvel movies, but yeah, I, I guess that's why I just haven't been really interested in them. Though I haven't seen any of them, so I can tell, but... I don't know. There's just been so many adventures films that... Where am I gonna start? Of course, from the beginning, but still. <coughs> They're gonna. <clears throat> Sorry about that. They're gonna ruin Blade now and make it PG 13. What? Really? That, that's, like, there is no point, really. Why are they doing that? Topa. Oh, come on. You're still not dead. You're pretty fast. Where'd it go? There he is. <coughs> Oh, weapon. There we go. You know, you're supposed to... Ah, oh, shit! Throw the grenade, just like that. Not leave it on the ground and suicide, for God's sake. What the hell? What was he trying to do? And why am I constantly starting from here and not saving? Oh, well. <coughs> Sorry about that. Disney killed Star Wars, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, seriously, I've just been out of cold here. I mean, I still do have the cold, but the fever and everything is pretty much over. The worst is over, so I thought of actually streaming, finally. I haven't lost my voice, like, that's why I actually didn't stream for, uh, like, five days, because I... First of all, I lost my voice. If you actually saw the uh, the end of the last stream, I basically decided like a broken record, if I already don't know right now. I mean, still don't know. But, like, that's why I didn't stream for five days. I just had one hole of cold. No whistly snaps a blade. Some other act. Oh, damn it. <coughs> that is a sad thing. All right. The sound design suddenly just changed here. I love the sound design actually in just all the gold sword. Well, in the, in the engine, let's just say that just because Kelly Bailey just. Uh, <clears throat> oh, he's a genius to say the least. Come on. Uh, better throw a grenade right there. Oh, shit. They just keep leaving the grenades right there. These guys make no sound whatsoever, not even when they're hurt. They're just... They're emotionless bastards. But they don't make any sound while throwing a grenade either, so you're actually just, uh... Left very, uh... Uh... Unaware of the, uh, the grenade throws. There we go. I think I got two. Well, they make a sound when they die, but yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Better than Kool-Aid. I know Caleb, I know. Praise the shit! <coughs> it's time to abort your whole friggin' species. Not the whole species. <coughs> My own species. Apparently. Snarks. Here you go. Give me that, you piece of shit. Oh, come on. Yep, he's dead. I gotta get downstairs so I- oh! 
Damn it! Does this guy actually provide any help whatsoever? No. Yeah, but the crates from that guy. That's what I mean. Arr! Bad throw. Come on. Oh, I don't have any more grenades. Well, that's very... Very good. There's a health pack right there. Finally. One satchel did it. <coughs> it actually had a... Help, help. I'm being repressed. Thank you, dear sir. Thank you. It actually just had Somebody's a bigger... Somebody's gonna friggin' pay for screwing up my vacation. Yeah. My vacation. Not Duke's vacation, but my vac... Arrgh! Vacation. Jesus, I really hate the, uh... Secret level. Black Ops. Guys. The feeling when Half-Life doesn't have any secret levels, yeah. <clears throat> well, actually, well... Yeah, not secret levels, but it does have, like, some secret sections and areas you can go to. But they only contain, like, ammunition and stuff. Alright, so, uh... I can barely tell what I'm supposed to do with this. I like this cannon, actually. Oh. Motor guns. Nope! I didn't have my deagle reloaded. Let's try this again. I see them. There we go. Much better. Gotta be safe. Oh, 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 bullseye. There we go. Even after five years, I remember the angle of that little mortar right there. Oh, come on. Ah! You're dead. Oh, don't, don't shoot at me. Got 80. Displace your ammo. Damn it, I missed. <laughs> Jibbed. Yeah, it is a bit like this is Half Life B BFG basically, but uh, you can also use it. I mean, the uh, the secondary fire is basically uh, like a well, it's like the weapon itself is called the displacer, and the secondary fire actually just displaces you from one place to another. But it also works. I mean, it only works. Thank you. It only works in certain sections. For instance, when you grab like three radioactive ammo, it's hinting that you actually need to use the secondary fire right there. It's enough for the displacer. But here, uh, I'm gonna try it if it actually works here. Nope. I just get a black area like this. I always get this, but like I feel like uh, I can always use it if I need some stuff from here, but they won't respawn, so yeah. That's why it's called the displacer. I still call it the BFG, but there we go. <coughs> At every area, yeah. Sometimes you can get the area where you're warped to do to a na nailing but seriously can you what the hell never knew that actually oh I'm out of ammo 12 HP God chase me please thank you let's try that again yeah let's not waste our uh, BFG ammo this time we're at 19 HP <laughs> Sorry. I mean, we could have just gotten the uh, the health there, but there we go. Dance, monkey, dance. Oh. 
Right. Let's actually use the BFG. As soon as we get here. Well, he got displaced. Dance, fucker, dance! Yeah. Don't be shaking your head. I know you want it. There we go. Everybody did. <laughs> I like that. Oh, it's this section. We finally get to see the uh, the helicopter here as well. I remember this. <coughs> I feel like that's we wait to Satana. That's the uh, the Black Ops controlling the, uh, the train right there. And I'm at four HP. That's not good. Yep, that's the uh, the Black Ops pretty much. Come on. Oh no, I saved oh come on, I saved over there with it with the satchel. Saved just before I loaded, so yeah. Just press F6 and F7 at the same time. Keep them separated. No, not that. Not that song. I gotta hide just before he shoots at me. But he's gone. Freaking shot closes. <coughs> with the chopper. Yep. There he is. I think I can take him down, can I? I don't know. Yep. Nice crash landing. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> I believe that's from Quake 3. Yeah, that's the uh, the grenade explosion from Quake 3, at least. Yeah, the yeah I guess it also has it for the uh, the rocket. There's a mod that lets you play as as a black op. It even recreates a Max Payne 1 level. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I don't know if you already knew, but Max Payne is a uh, like a, uh, a Finnish game. But... Uh, the shameful thing about it is that I don't own it. Yeah, it's really, really a shame. Makes one spooky game to play on Halloween. It's not it's even a spooky game. It's a very good action game. Yeah, it is very, very tragic. Strategic. English! It is a tragedy, to say the least. I don't even own it. I don't even know the second one, nor the third one. The third one's basically by Rockstar, but I wouldn't kill this. It's a Remedy product, by origin. Speaking of Remedy, the, uh, their latest title, Control, is one hell of an RTX success. I don't own it, but I've seen the, uh, the footage of that. Oh, I gotta go here. Ta-da! Well, that actually recreates the, uh, the rope walking of blood, basically, yeah. There's that was basically Caleb. Whoa! And then on the other side it was like, ta-da! Over here! Whoa! <coughs> <coughs> I heard a pit drone. Oh! There you are! You just shut up. Spike in my ass. Look at that. 
I love the detail on the pit drones. Every time they uh, shoot a spike, it just like leaves their freaking head. And when they have zero spike, it actually shows they have just zero spikes in their head, physically. In the model. Oh, another black Mesa car. That's crashed. The only real car they just have is just a uh, kind of a Chevrolet looking car. I don't, I don't even know about cars. Most of like a Chevrolet. To some wang. I guess he wanted to some wang. Eat your vegetables. You too, shock roaches. How are you dead? And I'm out of rockets. At least the Steam version does not like make that uh, same out of ammo glitch with the uh, the rocket launcher. Thanks. He killed the black ops for me. Look at him. <coughs> oh! Hello. Damn, I love this weapon. Can I go there? Up there would be some... Oh, it's Otis! God damn it! I gotta get up there. Somehow. Oh, it's right here. Hi, dude. Now, now, don't hurt me, and I'll tell you a secret. I've been hiding up here listening. These black ops have some sort of bomb. I think they're planning on blowing up the base. Now, now why do you think they would do such a thing? Indeed. Why would they do such a thing? And this just... So it's this part, pretty much. And this is where I gotta go. But I actually gotta see if there was nothing, something else down here. <coughs> Apart from these crates. Oh. I didn't see you. Completely missed you there. There we go. Always nice to get some ammunition. Ah, now he's just suddenly standing up. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll work better as a team. Can I actually fit in these freaking vents? Oddly enough, he can. All right, yeah. He wasn't actually looking too fat after all when crouching in the uh, the vents. Well, he's not actually crouching, is he? Neither am I. All right. Uh, we well, actually cannot go down there, so yeah, gotta leave him. Sorry, dude. Uh, no ammo. Bullet sponges. Thank you. Reserved parking, yeah. For disabled people. Oh. Hey. Crazy? I'm not opening this door until someone turns that bomb off. Really? So want me to turn that bomb off? Alright, I'm going to do it then. Let's go. Cool. You just keep your eyes open. There's still some targets running around out there. Well, I shot you in the head. You have no helmet and you're still alive. It's a real murder. Whew, there we go. What does that read? Manual instructions for a... Mu Mark for thermonuclear device. Yep, yeah, this is how you read the text. This device carries a grade C plutonium control oh, Jesus with this device an an approximate sale just a freaking blurry text I really cannot read that it's not because of the scope it's because of the freaking texture an approximate safe distance of 55 <laughs> kilometers I guess it's recommended. Oh, I see. So they actually gotta just bounce right away. 55 kilometers is 
how much is that actually? It's about like 35 miles, I guess. 33 miles, I would say. I can't read that either. Yeah, even, even with the scope. What does that say? This is my monocle. Step one. It dispose of the gra 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 gravitronic. I guess that's gravitronic rev limit to 11. Rotate the red knob to the on position. Press button labeled B. All right. Why can't I put it on anymore? <laughs> All right. Well, we gotta go back. It dispose the gravitational piece of shit. That was a close one. Well, it sure was. <coughs> it's not going to be easy from here on out. The only way out is through the level four storage unit, but it's a mess down there. Hmm. The black ops were using it as a staging point until the aliens came in. If you do make it through, make sure you have them come back for us. Roger that. So yeah. Pretty much, <laughs> I do remember this from five years back. Pretty much, you think like, yeah, that's going to be easy. Yeah, but, oh, no. You piece of shit, traitor. You son of a bitch. It's team at himself. I thought that immediately like, oh, God, he's a real jerk, isn't he? I'm going to have your head. And immediately when you return, of course. Freaking thing's closed. Of course it is. You piece of shit. You know what you are? You are D. E. E. Dead. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Never. Just like. You never get to fight G Man. Hands of paint. Thought that would be, would be some ammunition in those in the In cans of paint, yes. <coughs> Worlds collide. Ooh boy. Worlds collide, eh? It's more of you guys. I'm not surprised. Freaking you in hell. Yeah, indeed. What are you doing? She she started to use me as a uh, what is it? A running mat. Spinning mat. Yeah, the footsteps. But immediately lob a grenade here, I think. It's one of them out. Maybe. Very odd though, the uh, the normal Black Ops guards, or the soldiers here, they don't keep any sounds whatsoever. And uh, the female ones are supposed to be the stealthy ones, they keep the freaking footsteps. That's very, very ironic actually, and somebody just got spoiled. Seriously. There's a lot of bullets. Nope. I'm not gonna make that with 56 HP and 15 armor. Let's see. 
<laughs> Maybe a couple of snarks will do the job. I mean, look at that. You can basically see her leg already there. Oddly enough, she cannot see us. Let's see. Uh, so I'm going to use this. Or I could just do this. You and you. Where you going? Yeah, that's a very good, very good tactic. Hell, I had my trip mines. I just made use of them. <coughs> you come here. Either way, you're blown up. Damn it! Piece of shit. Oh, well, that at least worked. <coughs> Your jibs. Humiliation. Pretty much a humiliation when they just run into my trip mines. Here's a good jump. I forgot I had my M249. Thought I knew I had it, but like I forgot I had ammo for it. Choose up ammo like hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Hi there. Seriously. Forget about you! Alright, snipre. Maybe when you pull your head out right there. It's all in the reflexes. Yeah, it is. Pretty much here. Come on! Stop shaking your ass! Can I see your head finally? Looks like cleanup on aisle four. And I guess that's on aisle four. Soon there will be cleanup. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I want her head visible. But as soon as it is visible... Come on. Stop shaking your ass, get up! Just look at that. Why, why are they doing that? Oddly enough, nobody else just gave a shit. So they died from one shot. I don't know about the assassins. If they're actually more horrible. I aimed for the head just in case. Ooh. Nibre. Mm, <coughs> yummy. Fresh meat. Indeed. I like how Caleb actually has a more stealthy voice for this, so it's very fitting. Apart from a few voice lines where he actually yells, like, this is my boomstick! Right, I'm gonna save here. There was a... 
There was one guy here who played against Sam. Was it over to here? I'm gonna keep my sniper out. I only got three bullets. Ah, it was just enough, I believe. Yep, it was pretty much just enough. Oh, I think my thingy hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were they thinking? Yeah, there's like many crates moving, that's why. Stop! Jesus Christ. Oh, you used to. What the hell? Oh, there's more people. <coughs> Die, you pieces of shit! Another important species revealed in action. <laughs> just why? I I'm glad I made that command, but just like. <laughs> that that was one of the new ones I added. There were there were like, there still are like the uh, the shoulder screws that I didn't add. Hopefully we hear stop. So that, that's what you're going for. You hear everything else but the stop. All right, let's see. Where am I supposed to go, actually? Since I... Uh, <coughs> I just... Uh, machine gun those guys down. Sorry about this goddamn sound. Maybe I should take one of these. And go up there. Ah! Oh, up here. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> I don't know what that guy was doing, but I, I, I imagined him screaming there, of course. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Hear you, clatter! Freaking box elevator. There we go. I feel like we're through. Let's see. Uh, Did you submit your status report to the administrator today? No. I added that uh, scientist command just because it's just—it's all all gibberish. But there's like, well, some of you. Can I? <laughs> the thing is, some of those. Why are you leaving Any me here Any ideas yet? on the origin of that new sample? Mo mostly what there is right there in the scientist command is just like gibberish, what they're saying. Some of which you can hear inside the game, but some of them which did not make inside the game, actually. Yeah. Most of them are just before... Before the resonance cascade thing, of course. I wonder if I should run that test again, stuff like that, yeah. I think you can hear all of it. I'm not sure, because I actually haven't... I've circled all the scientists at the very beginning of the game, before the cascade happened. And nobody just, like... They might see them, like, all randomly... Oh, look at that animation. Look at that. That's gold source right here. It's a hanging box. DSR, please. It's a hanging freaking box. Like, it's actually swinging. Same goes with these. Gonna rip them a new one. <laughs> Every time you do that, Duke quote, I gotta just tip somebody. You are tiny grasshopper. Well, that's not too tiny of a grasshopper right there, I would say. Eat BFG. Well, he certainly did. Ah! 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 
Ow, 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 ow. Oh, Jesus. Don't throw grenades at me. Yep, yep, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> And he got exploded. I almost fell right there. We meet again, Dr. Jones. <laughs> business. Went for business. Oh, you're shooting the uh, the roach. <laughs> Seemed like you were shooting your friend for God's sake. I've got two guns. That should be enough for all of them. I got many more than that. <coughs> Boss coming up. I really can't remember how early it was, but yeah. Finally, we're through. Oh, hello, Bernie. I guess you're a good guy, April. Yeah. Listen, yeah, we've I got am. to get down below. There's something coming through, and it's the nastiest looking thing yet. Some of your buddies went down there a while ago, and I haven't seen them since. Well. I've got some weapons I've piled up in here. You better take as much as you can carry, because I think this is it. Good luck, Corporal. Much obliged, Barney. I'll be damned. We're actually facing the final frontier of opposing force. I didn't actually think it would be this freaking early. I mean, what was it? Last time I streamed for two hours, yeah. And at the very last minute, like, my voice was so all uh, worn off and stuff like that. But now, I've streamed for, like, almost three hours. It is like a five-hour campaign only. Jesus. I cannot imagine it would just... Would have been this goddamn short. <coughs> Compared to when I played it like five years ago. Oh, we don't even hear the. Uh... Oh. oh, it's it's the wind pushing us back. We don't even hear the uh, the freaking tune, the the music there. You might have actually heard it that it just started, but the uh, the loading screen just boop, completely. Uh... Interrupted it, so we're actually not hearing the soundtrack much. Sadly. I still have m magazines with the Dreamcast version listened in it. Listed in it. But when it played Blue Shift, that's when the HD models were a thing. It was pioneered with Blue Shift, I see. I might play that with the HD. I'm not sure if I have one too. Maybe, maybe I will just play it with the. Uh, Classic models. Oh yeah, it's this. I remember this. The last time we were actually using these ropes. Oh shit! And failing it to uh, to climb them. <coughs> so we're probably thinking, what could that being be? Well, see for yourself. I don't know if it's coming yet, but all these freaking glowing thingies were just because of that. This is pawning? I don't know. Not yet. <coughs> Come on. Yeah, hasten up this piece of shit. Oh, there it is. Well, I'll be damned. Die, you son of a bitch. The first, first thing we have to aim at is the uh, pretty much the eyes right there. But after that, he will just uh, 
Holy shit! From what I remember, he will just push us back or something like that. I can't really remember. Uh, or do that. Yep, that's what he does. Oh, and to show that weapon. the max amount of damage I can do. <laughs> exactly when you played that laugh command, you shot something out of his crotch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. I might just save when he's uh, when he's spawning, so uh, this might take a long while, actually, but... What I what do I do here? Nothing, basically. I can just climb back up. Ooh. There we go. Healing pool right here. Save here. He's gonna spawn in just a moment. <coughs> There we go. I can't tell what the name of this creature is, but, uh... Stop! Stop! Now you got the stop. Come on. Can I finally shoot at that? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Alright, uh... Old ass. Out, out, damn spot! <laughs> <laughs> Again! Exactly at the same time! As you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guy already! Thank you. Ah, come piece of shit. Seriously, because I don't know if he can uh, can actually shoot the uh, the yellow eyes with your regular weapons rather than these laser weapons. But still gonna use the laser weapons just because because I can. Right, one's down. Save. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> I think I cannot shoot but once with the rocket launcher, and then he makes that animation. <coughs> ah! ah, I was a little too early. <laughs> Are you already, Jesus? We perkel. Right, never mind. Alright. Pull back a little, get our health done. Gonna spawn the uh, shocker. Ah! Just before your dad, he just said, ah! "Probably a BFG into his gut will make the uh, the job." Ah! Ah! Jesus! Of course, he makes me drop down here. Thankfully, the uh, the healing pool actually gives us much more health than the uh, <coughs> the health pool in Half Life One. Ah! Can you can you please aim at the freaking eye? Thank you very much. Ah! 
help shit. No, it did. It is kind of like a thorn. Get you, please. Spider-Man time, what do you mean? By, with this barnacle, I guess, yeah. <coughs> has to be kind of like that. Go the other way. Oh, shit. I'm gonna climb to the other one. I forgot to shoot with that. Don't shoot at me. Thank you. Well, you did shoot at me, actually, but you missed. <coughs> it was severely late. Uh, all right. How many more? Is that gonna be it? I thought. I doubt it will be. It's another shocker, I believe. Oop. Ooh, Jesus. I really like those spore grenades. Come on. Break up our save here. Sure you with this. <coughs> oh come on, piece of shit. Seriously. There's like 20 damage per shot. They look like shots, so. Are you finally done, so? Eat spores, you little piece of shit. Indeed it is. Game over. <laughs> Here we are. Alright, please silence with the voice lines and everything. Oh, yes. Hello, G-Man. So... Corporal Shepard, we meet at last. Please don't think that I've been avoiding you. A great many matters require my attention in these troubled times. I do hope you understand. And now I require a further indulgence on your part. I cannot close my report until every loose end has been tied up. Hmm. The biggest embarrassment has been Black Mesa facility, but I think that's finally taken care of itself. Oh, come on. Quite so. <laughs> Quite so. Oh, and indeed it is. But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. For a time? Of what amount? Well, I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion. My employers are not quite so trusting, and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all, we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm and where no harm can come to you I'm sure you can imagine there are worse alternatives well maybe I can I don't know but to say the least G-Man you're an asshole first of all out. first of all a traitor then an actual asshole for leaving me freaking here in I don't know what freaking space ever with, with that freaking helicopter shit. Subject Shifford detained. Further evaluation pending. That was Half-Life Opposing Force. Oh my goodness. That was that was much shorter than like my previous Denied. playthrough. 
five years ago already. Gearbox is... Stephen Ball, Patrick Dupree, John Volkenberry, uh, Ron Hero, and you know, there's so many names I probably cannot even read through them. Randy Pitchford is there. Third and last name. Too bad it's not the last name. Special thanks to... What? Val. Gabe Newell. Yep, Gabe Newell. <laughs> Gabe Newell is actually there. Yeah, he probably he, he won't come back, honestly. I I really doubt it, but it would be cool to see him. It's, just, it's most, like, very unlikely happening. Like, as unlikely as a freaking Resonance Cascade. If you could call it that, actually. It's gonna not happen. Yeah, gotta love unresolved cliff cliffhangers. This was one of many of them in the series. I got many, like, so much undone, to say the least. I mean, there's only, there were only a couple cliffhangers that happened in the series, but, like, a couple still mystery thingies, like, unsolved stuff that just happened in the, uh... Oh, I can still move around. I cannot spray anywhere. I cannot look anywhere. I could just jump around if I want to, but I cannot move around, nor even look around. But that was basically it. That was Half-Life Opposing Force. I will get to the multiplayer of this in, uh, basically, the Gold Source multiplayer special when I will uh, get to many more uh, multiplayers by Valve for the Gold Source engine. For instance, Team Fortress Classic, uh, Deathmatch Classic, Counter-Strike will be last. Maybe Day of Defeat even, but what other things are there, actually? I don't know. But in any case... <laughs> Congrats, Poopy Master. Half-Life Bl Blue Ship will be next, and I probably won't be doing it with the... Uh, sorry about that. With the HD models, let's see. Yeah. Enable HD models if available. I might show them when I have all the weapons, or even, like, partially throughout the play playthrough, I might enable it just to uh, uh, see what the uh, the weapons are like, pretty much. But otherwise, that was it for this stream. I'm gonna raid somebody right now, and uh, that was one hell of a playthrough. Seriously, that was much shorter than previously because I I played this like five years ago. It's an amazing expansion, just damn short. I feel like Blue Shift will be shorter, but we'll have to see. I'll have to also see like when I will stream next time. But like uh, I gotta wake up early tomorrow, so uh, maybe I could stream tomorrow evening. It's already like twelve, almost twelve a.m. here. But let's see, who is streaming? Uh, Sancho's is streaming Quake Champions. Chain is also, I think he just started streaming. In fact, I am going to raid probably him. Yeah, I'm going to raid Chain. Q, uh, what the hell, raid Q Chain. That's Ch Chewonen. Isn't it? Yep. So otherwise, I will I will probably return tomorrow. I'll see. Like I don't actually have a like an actual schedule, but if I'm actually feeling much better right now because I feel like I'm getting losing my voice, I don't know. I'll uh, I'll see if tomorrow is a much better day for a uh, streaming than what today, for instance, was already. But at least I am feeling much better from my cold, so that was a good thing. I could actually stream. So otherwise. See you most likely tomorrow. Bon voyage. Best of luck to your future endeavors. Skip Chain, all the love and everything. He just started streaming, I believe. Goodbye for now.